Hello and welcome back to the Inspire Composites YouTube channel and I've been getting a lot of questions on how I am able to machine such large bucks on a 3 axis CNC machine and I'm able to do that because I take the object and I split them into layers that I can machine uh, individually and then glue them together once they have been machined. Um, it's actually pretty simple so let's get started right here I have a wide body fender that I did for a customer and the dimensions of this are 47 by 22 so if you have a three axis machine, the, the Y and X axis should be able to accommodate this part. And our part is 5.8 inches. So if we have a three axis machine that has a three inch travel, we can split this part into two parts and that should be able to work. So let's go ahead and divide our part into two layers. I'm gonna draw a line starting from zero each layer I'm going to make 2.9 inches and then we're going to draw a line across from that point okay and we're going to use a tool called extrude we're going to extrude the curve through our part and you can see the two layers that are going to be divided We're going to use a tool called split. Select objects to split. We're going to select our objects. And then we're going to select our cutting objects, which is our surface that we extruded through the object. And it should be able to split the fender into two parts. So if we drag our selection box over the top layer, we should be able to have only the top layer selected. Um, usually, sometimes when you do try to select the one layer, it will select other parts that's not supposed to be selected. Try using explode a few times and then split the object or ungrouping might be the problem. But once you split it, you should be able to select the individual layer. Uh, we have all of our parts, so we're going to group it. We're going to join it so that it's one part. And we can move it aside, but we're not going to do that yet because we need to be able to take this surface and we need to cut out a profile from the first layer for the second layer so that we have a mating surface for that first layer to glue on to the second layer because if we didn't let's move this to the side if we didn't and we didn't have a surface there how would we be able to glue this onto this right there has to be a surface right here where that void is so that's what we're going to do we're going to do that by drawing a profile of the first layer just within its boundaries or just within the edge. Okay, now that we have our profile of the first layer, we can actually now move that first layer out of the way. And then if we go to wired view, we can take our surface, we can split it with our profile that we drew, delete delete what we don't need, and if we go to the shaded view, we can see that we have created a mating surface that we can use to glue the first layer onto. See how that works? And here is another little trick. If, let's say our cutting envelope is fairly small and we want to be able to cut 
both of these parts at the same time and we're trying to fit both parts within our cutting envelope All right and it's just not it ju it just won't fit it's interfering and everything um, what we can actually do is because this surface here uh, isn't crucial we can actually trim parts of the surface to accommodate uh, other parts to fit within the cutting envelope so uh, let's let's just say we want to rotate this to make it fit a little bit better okay and our our, obviously it fits now, but let's say if we were working with a smaller cutting envelope. And we needed to fit these two parts within this cutting envelope to be able to cut it at the same time so we can save time with the CNC machine. We're going to try to fit this in here, but obviously these parts are touching and we're not going to be able to fit it. But here's a little trick. But because this surface here isn't crucial, we can actually trim parts of it off to be able to accommodate this piece. So let's go ahead and trim it. Because even if we trim some parts of it off, there will still be enough surface for us to glue on the first layer. Split, split select that delete those two and now we have our two parts that fit within our cutting envelope and this part once it's finished we'll still be able to we'll still be able to glue it onto the first layer because there still is that mating surface That's all for now. There are other techniques that I want to show you guys. Um, I will make a second video about that. Uh, this is more for layering uh, with limited Z axis height and for uh, more longer and wider parts that your Y and X axis don't accommodate. I will show you guys how I split that but with using a jigsaw pattern to be able to put the parts together so that it has some kind of structural uh, integrity to it all right see you guys next time